All right, guys, I am back, and as you guys can see, I still haven't saved, so let's just go and do that. Um, if I saved, I would have gone into that scene, and pretty sure there's a scene. Let me go and mute this volume real quick. Uh, you guys probably heard an echo of the boom, but yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene, and from the looks of it, yes, there is. Alright, now I kind of had to show that cutscene because if I don't, I usually get people on my ass about, you know, me not doing the con. I mean, okay. Minion has won last year's contest, but I'm not afraid if I can just find way past the fourth shield, I can win. I, something like that. I didn't really uh, read it. Uh, let's see here. Alright, come on, let me get destroy that last panel. Stop moving on me. There we go. And yeah, I mean, I already got people on my ass about using cheats, and now I've got, you know, if I go and skip a cutscene, I'll get people on my ass about that. And really, I mean, I just, I'm really just tired of seeing those kind of, like, comments in there. So I just choose to uh, not, like, see them. But they, like, I respond to everybody. Everybody just likes to give me shit about it, I guess. So, yeah, I and mean, you can't win them all, and you, and you certainly, you know, can't please everybody. But whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it, it was trying to load up a cutscene, and it's like, nope, I don't have a cutscene ready for this. Yeah, of course you don't. So let's continue on. Hopefully, we can finish this up. All right, four of eight, or actually five of eight. Doctors want to know why I kill. I say, who gives a shit? Why do I do it? I want to know why it makes me so sad. Yeah, and the surprising thing is, they're actually censoring out more than just cutscenes in this. They're actually censoring out the little loading screens. Because I was playing uh, Shadow Storyline, as you guys can probably see where, when I save. Because, uh, of course, I, I need to go and do that over again so I can unlock a minion. And, uh, yeah, I was seeing it, and they censored out one of her words. And I think it was, like, another fucker weird or something like that. And, uh... Yeah, come on. You want to keep throwing these freaking missiles at me and shit? There we go. And they just censored it. I'm like, you guys really censored that? Hmm. Alright, and... Let's see here. Control this guy, I guess. All right, come on, keep controlling him. Keep controlling him. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to like uh, keep up some commentary here. But yeah, I know I'm going a bit um, silent in, the, in these things, but I'm just trying to concentrate on the game and at least trying to just kill these guys so they can just get out of my freaking way. There we go. Now we got some more time. Now um, I haven't really had like a topic anybody has given me for this one. Um, just haven't really had anything to really talk about but yeah um, actually one of my viewers was asking me when exactly I'm going to be bringing out the uh, new Twisted Metal Let's Play now I said this in like other episodes and I'm not I'm not going to be bringing it out until uh, I'm done with this I don't really think it's you know again I, I don't really think it's fitting to kind of bring out two like Twisted Metal Let's Plays at once because again certain people are going to watch certain ones and I just want to at least give like both of these let's plays a good fighting chance in like beginning views because after a while everybody just watches what what they want to watch so yeah there's just that but um, let's see what else I just want to go over um, oh yeah somebody else was asking me like how exactly is the new twist metal working out like is it still like this where you just choose a character go through the storyline and you know, do uh, do that, you know, rinse and repeat kind of thing. Actually, they changed it up quite a bit. For those of you that still haven't played it or just haven't gotten, you know, a chance to play because of your current situation or whatever, basically, they have three people storylines only. Mr. Grimm's, Sweet Tooth, and Dollface. Or should I just say, Sweet Tooth, Mr. Grimm, and Dollface. And it goes like that because, first off, it's Sweet Tooth story. And you have... Him, uh, you just go through the storyline, and you can choose whatever cards you want um, from like what you have unlocked at the time. 
and it's not just like you're locked to one thing at, that you can only use. They have actually changed it up where you can. It's kind of like the um, the multiplayer where you just choose what like uh, what uh, car you want to use for that. And then you also have a uh, garage where you can switch out your car if if uh, your car is too damaged or you need something a bit quicker, just something like that. And then they have uh, various other things and. Uh, the more you progress to a level, the more characters, I mean, well, not the more characters, but the more cars you unlock. And then, uh, once you beat the storyline for one, you it transitions into the next one, which ends up being, you know, whichever guy is or girl you're playing. And then you do the same thing, you go through boss battles, you go through just different things, and it's just really, um, you know, it goes through like that. And, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, I don't really want to get to do much details because there are other th things that go in it like boss battles, like I said, um, there's specialty matches, things like um, uh, cage match, let's see, what else would there be, there's uh, racing, but we'll get to that when we get to that, I guess. So, uh, let's see, what else I just want to talk about? Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's just talk about a few of the, bit of the cars, I guess. Uh, let's see. I believe I chose Driving Movie for the other one, so let's go with this one. Now, um, the cars, they they basically have the same cars as in this one. This battlefield is small and full of enemies. I gotta keep moving if I want to survive this. And they actually have a, uh, a chopper, if you guys didn't know. And like I said in another episode, um, they were actually gonna put in Warhawk in this game. But due to limitation factors and time and all that, they couldn't really uh, achieve that. But I've heard uh, some stories that if you have like a like a uh, game shark or something, you can get the uh, you can get it on here. But I'm I'm not too sure. I haven't really heard too many things about that. But they were gonna put Warhawk as a playable character in here, but they never really got around to it or something like that. Uh, I don't really know too much of the logistics about that, so. Know, again, don't quote me on it. I just know that he was going to be a playable character in this game. And, um... Like, like I'm surprised they actually put a minion in here. In here, Because usually for um, boss battles, they don't really, like, let you have the character to... Uh, or the card to play as in the story. But they've kind of changed it up. I think after, uh, what was it? I think after, like, number four, maybe? Because I do remember uh, Head On had it. Uh, head on had it where it'd be uh, Cousin Eddie and then you'd have uh, who else was it hey, I haven't played head on in like forever so I don't really exactly remember all the bosses and all that and they actually had like the final boss you could play as uh, Tower Tooth but you couldn't play him in the storyline you can only play him in multiplayer which was still pretty cool but I don't know it's just like having the story behind it I guess would be a bit difficult to do because it's a very different storyline than uh, this one would be. Because that one is... Um, Black, again, is a bit more twisted. Uh, and, uh, no pun intended, but... Uh, it's, like, a bit more in a dark sense. Again, no pun intended. Than, you know... The uh, head-on, or number two. Oh, there's Spectre. I was wondering why this thing hasn't ended yet. It always seems to be Spectre at the end of this. I don't know why. But, come on. Let's destroy you and get it over with. But the storyline in between uh, number two and uh, head on is actually quite a different one. I might end up playing um, Twisted Metal 2 and head on if you guys would like me to. Uh, probably a bit after the new uh, Twisted Metal, uh, once I get that finished up. Um, yeah, and then let's see what else I just want to ask you, the viewer. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, what difficulty would you guys like me to play that story on? Uh, the new Twisted Metal story. Because there's, I believe, normal, hard, and twisted that you can choose for it. I once pushed a fat woman off a skyscraper. When she hit the ground, it was music to my heart. Now, uh, like I was saying, there's three difficulties, normal, hard, and twisted. I'm currently doing a twisted walkthrough, like on my own. And that's just to get uh, a trophy that you need to get. It's... Um, Get a gold medal in all of the uh, in all the story modes, oh, all the story mode events. And the thing about that is, it's kind of hard because they give you about I think it's seven and a half minutes to get that. You have to get under that time, 
to actually be able to get that gold medal. And the boss modes are really hard. I mean, uh, the, brother, uh, uh, the Brothers Grimm, that's like your first boss battle. Uh, and and it's always, um, like always when you transition into these, it's the last character is uh, is always the character you're going to transition into. Except for in the case of Dollface. Hers was like, um, well, actually kind of reverted back to like a cycle. It ended up being a, uh, a like a uh, carnival kind of themed going stuff yeah there's just a, there was a lot of clowns themed after sweet tooth that's all i can really say so yeah there's that and i'm pretty sure everybody's gonna enjoy it because i've been seeing a lot of these let's plays going around of twist metal but it's not being played by a fan and if it is being played by a fan they're not really knowledgeable in you know the storyline or characters and it's really just one of those kind of things that, you know, if I see a person that normally isn't, you know, somebody that would do this kind of game, I don't know why, but I kind of get like that nerd rage going of, you know, why are you playing this game? You know, you're not, you're not a true fan and blah, 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 blah. But um, really, I mean, I should just go with the philosophy of like, you know, you're playing the game. That means you're interested in the game. And that means you might end up becoming a fan and you could end up, you know, playing the other games. Like, like I said before, guys, I've been a big fan since Twisted Metal 1. I really got started in Twisted Metal 2. Um, when I Actually, it kind of started off with that. My brother uh, borrowed Twisted Metal 2 from a friend back when he had the PS1. And I just kept playing that game to death. I wasn't really you know, paying attention to the storyline or anything. I just loved it. I mean, no cars and you know, just having to be strategic about what you do. It was really actually pretty fun. And then, you know, I played 3 and 4, and those were kind of, like, cartoony. I still liked them. Uh, 4 I liked, w like, 4 would be the one I liked that wasn't really made by, uh, by Incog Inc. or, you know, the, any of these other, like, basically it's, like, not made by the originals, I guess. And really, I mean, other than that, Small Brawl would be my other favorite. Um, from Small Brawl, I didn't really talk about the character from there in the other episode. I forgot that's one of the, uh, that's one of the characters they wanted me to, uh, get out of the way. And you guys have seen this cutscene quite some times. I don't even care if I talked over it. But, yeah, let's see, what else, did, what was it going on with? Oh, yes, about Small Brawl. Uh, Small Brawl didn't really have too many, uh, characters I enjoyed. I enjoyed Sweet Tooth storyline, I really did. Uh, the police haven't caught me in 12 years. I will not fail. I'm so close. And something. I totally skipped over that. Um, oh yeah, we have to stay over here. So we can damage. It is, uh... Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm trying to, you know, get this stuff out of the way. But, I did like, I did enjoy Sweet Tooth's storyline. Uh, uh, well, I'm... I don't know. You guys can probably just look this up online. It's a very old game. I, I don't really care about spoiling it. But basically, at the end of his, he wished to get ice cream. So Calypso took him to a um, to like a place where they have an ice cream truck. And um, basically, Calypso's kind of like making fun of him. He's like, you know, you could have wished for anything, and all you wanted was ice cream. And you just see like a look in um, in Sweet Tooth Sai as he like you know as he looks at the ice cream truck. And he ends up stealing the ice cream truck and having uh, Calypso on the grill. And you just see him like rush down like a street, and the cops are just like trying to capture him or something. Or well, they're chasing down, him, so they're trying to like get him pulled over. All right, so there we go. That, and I always just thought, kind of thought it was funny. I mean, sure it was kind of like a kid game, but it was still kind of funny how they had it set up. So yeah, let's see here. Uh, let's get the homing missile going. All right, now we just gotta wait for uh, Warhawk. There we go. Now it shields damage. I think we have to wait one more time. So, uh, oop. There we go. Okay, now Warhawk's shield is damaged. Or destroyed, I should say. And, yeah. But, yeah, the Small Brawl was my, I would say, my favorite one that, out of the, you know, beside, well, I don't know, four and Small Brawl have a bit of, uh, you know, tie with the ones that, you know, the Twisted Metals I like that aren't made by the original people. Um, but I think Small Bra is a bit more, um, a bit more, uh, what's it called? It's a bit higher in my ratings, I guess. But number four was my other favorite, I would say. I kind of followed the main kind of Twisted Metal, I should say. 
I don't know. I don't really know what exactly I'm trying to explain in here. But, yeah, it's it's just something. I'll, let's just keep hitting him. Hopefully he'll die soon. And then we'll see the ending cutscene. So, until the next one, guys, I will see you later. I had won the contest. I went to Calypso and demanded my prize. I wanted him to remove the part of my brain that made me so sad whenever I took a human life. I wanted to become the best killer there ever was. Calypso went to work right away. And as a bonus, he didn't just operate on my head. He gave me a new pair of hands. They would become my trademark. When I killed, everyone would know it was me. The town was scared of that clown freak. <laughs> I'll show them something they'll never forget.